Hello students, in this video we're going to talk about down payments and how those affect present value annuities. In the real world there are a lot of factors that could possibly lead to the difference of a present value of a loan and the selling price of whatever it is that you're getting the loan for. Some of those in factors may include things like fees, closing costs on a home, and down payments. Let's look at an example and see how that would affect All right. So, in order to qualify for an FHA home loan, buyers must make a minimum down payment of 3.5%. A couple is looking to buy a home that sells for $210,000. They can get a loan at 4.2% compounded monthly for 30 years. If they make the minimum down payment, what would be their monthly payment? So, in this problem, we're dealing with purchasing a home and getting a loan for whatever the balance is in order to pay off that loan over 30 years. So first thing we need to do is determine how the minimum down payment is going to affect how much the loan uh, is actually going to be for. So first we need to find what 3.5% is of the purchase price of our home. So if we were to go to our calculator and we were to say 3.5% as a decimal, 0 0.035, times our purchase price, which was 210000 we would see that the down payment, the minimum down payment, is going to be $7,350. So what a down payment does is this is money that I'm bringing forward to the actual purchase of this home, and this is money that I'm not going to have to get a loan for. So if the value of the home is $210,000, $7,350 of that $210,000 is not going to need a loan for. So what I need to do in order to find whatever the present value is, I'm going to take the down payment and a negative, and I'm going to apply that to the selling price. and see what the difference is, how much is remaining. I'll go to the calculator and say 210,000 minus that down payment that we just found, we can see that the present value of the loan that we're actually going to need to get is $202,650. So this is how much money we actually need to get a loan for after the $7,350 payment has already been made up front. Okay. So now that we have dealt with the down payment, we've reduced this problem to just a regular present value annuity. We have a present value, we know we're going to be making monthly payments over a time period, and we can solve that using the TVM solver. So let's take a look at that. Apps, finance, all right, so we're going to make these payments monthly for 30 years, so 12 times a year for 30 years, would be 360 payments at 4.2 percent. Our present value, our present value is a negative amount of money away from us. So negative and negative make positive. That's two a positive 202,650 dollars. Payments what we're looking for, so we'll come back to it. At the end of the 30 years, I will have paid the loan off, so its balance will be zero. So the future value is zero. And our payments and compounds are both monthly, and we're, we weren't given any information otherwise, so we assume that it is an ordinary annuity where payments are made at the end. So now we'll just go back up and alpha enter next to payment and see that this house will have payments of $990.99. All right, thank you.